If your baby or child has become unwell, it is important that you know what to do so that they have the best chance for survival. If something has happened to your baby or child, you will carry out an assessment known as the primary survey to determine the five vital signs or signs of life of the body. This will allow you to determine if there are any life-threatening injuries or conditions that your child or baby may have suffered. This system is easily remembered by the acronym Dr. A, B, C. D is for danger, R for response, A for airway, B for breathing, and C for circulation. So the first part of the primary survey is checking for danger. So you're going to look around your child to see if there are any potential hazards, such as electrical cables, liquids, chemicals, or fire that can do further harm to your child or potentially harm you. Once you have determined that there are no dangers around your child, you can check their level of response. So start by calling their name. Hello, Annie. Annie, can you hear me? And see if you can get a response. There's no response. So next, you're going to squeeze their shoulders very gently and see if you elicit a response. No response, then you're going to pinch their ear lobe on the side that you're working on. No response, your child is unresponsive. Next, you're checking their airway, so one hand on their forehead, controlling their head, two fingers on the chin, open their mouth, take a look inside their mouth. If you're looking for any foreign objects or debris that could potentially block their airway. If there's anything there, scoop out with a finger. Once it's clear, you can then tilt their head back with two fingers underneath the chin, tilt it back very gently, and you're going to check for breathing. Put your ear down to your child's mouth, one hand on the stomach, and you're gonna check for breathing for 10 seconds, looking down your child's chest to see it rise and fall. Your look, listening, and feeling. Your child is breathing normally, which is a good sign. So you're going to move on to the next stage, looking for any obvious signs of circulation, checking the tips of their fingers, their earlobes, or inside their lips for a nice pinky color. So once you have determined that your child is breathing normally and there are no obvious signs of severe bleeding, then we will now roll your child into the recovery position.